What's an amplifier? I'm glad you asked. You have many of them in your home. Some are obvious, some are not so obvious. If you have a cassette recorder or player, that's certain to have an amplifier inside it. On a tape, there is a message, usually a tiny magnetic message. Amplifiers take small things and build them up and make them bigger. What happens if we put that on play is that the magnetic message is changed into an electrical message and then a sound message by the amplifier and it's made big enough to hear. Now I have the volume control turned down, but as I turn it up... You can hear it, and I can control the amount of amplification by turning that knob up or down. And you've done that sort of thing many times, haven't you? That's an amplifier because it takes something small and it builds it up, makes it bigger. Here's an amplifier as well, a ruler. If I pivot it there, I can push it at this end, very small movement, and the ruler, which is a kind of lever, amplifies the movement so it moves a long way at the other end. Strange sort of amplifier but it is an amplifier. Here's another one. There's a birthday candle burning away merrily. If I take a mirror that's a kind of an amplifier because what that now does is take one candle flame and it turns it effectively into two so you have twice as much light coming in this direction. A sort of an amplifier. Here's another sort of amplifier that you might be able to imagine if you have an active mind. Let's say you are collecting money to buy yourself uh, a bicycle for Christmas. You might say, well, Mum and Dad, can you help me out with this? Can you be a sort of an amplifier? If I save some money, can you add some more? And if they're very generous, they might say, yes, for every 10 cents that you save, we will match that and give you another 10 cents. So this is the sort of thing that happens. You put in 10 cents, and then they add another 10 cents, okay? And that'll go on until Christmas. But what if you're a little bit sneaky? And if you took the two coins out of the bottom of the piggy bank, and then if you said, hey, mum and dad, look, now I'm putting in two coins. And so what they would have to do is to put in another two coins. And then if you took those out immediately and said, hey, look at this, I'm putting in four coins, they would have to immediately put in four coins, and you're doubling all the time. You're now up to eight coins, and before very long, you'd have 16, 32, 64, and so on. Before long, mum and dad would be broke, and so would the bank because their amplification has gone crazy. What you're doing is feeding the thing that goes in back into where it came from in the first place. It's going out, going back in, going out, going back in, and so on. That's called feedback, amplification gone crazy. And it can happen with a cassette recorder. I wonder if you've ever done this. If you've used your cassette recorder not to play your cassettes, but rather uh, to use it to amplify your own voice. With most of them, you can press the buttons and then speak into the microphone and it acts as an amplifier or a public address system. And if you have a concert or a party, it may be useful to make your voice sound louder than it really is. But if you get too close to the loudspeaker, what happens is you get the amplification system going crazy. And you get that awful piercing squeal because what's happening is the message that you put in there initially has been amplified inside it's come out of the speaker gone back into the microphone again amplified again back into the microphone again and around and around it, go it goes with that awful squeal that goes right through you that's audio feedback or sound feedback and you can get feedbacks of other types as well for example if you take a television camera and you point it at a television screen what you can see is an image which goes back into the camera, back to the screen, back to the camera, back to the screen, back to the camera, back to the screen, and you get what's called video feedback. And sometimes you can get spectacular and interesting visual effects with that technique. Now, if you like watching rock clips, and I'm sure you do, maybe you've detected these two kinds of feedback together. Sometimes they use audio feedback to give strange sounds, echoey noises, and also they use video feedback to make the pictures more interesting. And if you like watching rock clips, Let's go to the jukebox now and see what's about to play. <laughs> 